Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about front and rear aprons for your Volkswagen Beetle. If you've been following the videos I've been doing on my 1954 oval window ragtop that we had shipped in from Ohio, you can see that car was in storage for a long time uh, and definitely had some front apron problem and uh, rear apron issues. So we've come to the conclusion that we had to replace the front and rear apron on that on that car. Now if you have an early oval like that, or uh, even into the 50s uh, uh, Beetles, even into the early 60s, there's, there used to be a lot of modifications that you had to do in order for those aprons to work correctly. Uh, you know, we're at the mercy of the aftermarket parts that were offered on the market, so there was a lot of things that you had to do uh, to make it look somewhat correct if you wanted to be correct. Uh, so I'm going to break down for you how the aprons changed over the years up until about 67 or so, and then uh, I could show you some uh, shortcuts that you could take to make uh, uh, the aprons work if you have to go with, you know, the cheaper aftermarket part. Thankfully today there are guys out there that are shaping and pressing the correct style aprons now for the earlier Beetle. So I have a 52 Beetle ragtop that you see behind me and uh, that has the correct aprons on the car and, uh, and I have some other Beetles in my shop that I can show you how the changes were made and what you would need to do to modify those aprons uh, to make them work for your bug. So I'm going to get behind the camera now and uh, show you what I mean. Okay, so let's start off with the front aprons. As you can see, this is a 66 Beetle that I have here in the shop, and here is your standardized uh, front apron. Um, basically, if you needed a front apron for any 67 and earlier Beetle, and you looked online for uh, a front apron, they were not year specific. So basically, they would look just like this. You see the two fingers that are on this front apron. You got some extra cutouts here, uh, three hole mounting, and uh, basically, uh, there was a, a universal fit. It was not year specific, uh, but you know we have our 50s guys out there, our 50s bugs that want to restore their cars back to the correct appearance. Uh, so we were kind of stuck, and uh, many times what we would have to do is say, okay, we buy this new uh, apron, but we save the original pattern that was off of the 50s models. Okay, and then the newer part you would use off the new apron that you would buy. Okay, but uh, many times that's kind of problematic, and Many times the whole front apron is shot and uh, you, you, we were left at the mercy with the standardized uh, aftermarket apron. But now, they offer these. Now for a long time, like I said, this was not offered for the 50s models Beetles. Um, and one of the first places that offered this is a place called wolfparts.com. Uh, I saw it on one of their sites first. Uh, basically going through the Samba forums and guys uh, pointing links to that site. Uh, and now there's some places over here in the U.S. that are uh, basically selling these plates as well. They must be getting them from him. Uh, one place is a Cat for Nostalgia uh, down in Louisiana. Uh, they are now offering this. If you go on to the Samba.com and, and punch in front apron, you'll see this. Now, again, here's the stock, or basically the aftermarket replacement uh, front apron. As you can see, the difference between the two, if you, if you have a 50s Beetle, this is more fitting. As you can see, the four fingers does not have that extra cutout over here and has the four mounting uh, bolt holes. Okay, so here's the 52 Beetle that we have that we're assembling for a client, and there's the original front apron to this car. And as you can see, the aftermarket is pretty dead on. Okay, so that's, that's really cool. We used to have to do a lot of modification to make this front apron look correct. Like I said, they would either try to save the ribbed section here and use the new section below and weld that in. Uh, but now we are in a pretty good shape. So, uh, you know, basically into the 50s models, Beatles 58, 59, I think even 60 has the same style front apron. Uh, so you can go with these. Now, the one thing is these are actually more expensive. I mean, an aftermarket universal apron is probably going to cost you about, I don't know, 50, 60, maybe 70 bucks. Um, this one, you're probably looking at $350, maybe 400 bucks in some places. So uh, that's the difference. But the sheet metal is great, the welding is great, uh, the steel is, is, is beautiful, it's nice and thick. Uh, they do a really nice job of uh, creating these. So uh, hats off to these guys that are now um, looking out for our old, uh, old bug restorers out here. So pretty cool. Let's move on to the rear apron. Okay, so here is a 1965 Beetle that I have, and here is the style apron that it has in the rear. And you notice the bracket here. 
Uh, it's the first year where they started putting this bracket on. So from 65 and 66, they had this style apron. 67, completely different animal. They changed that. There's a hole here. The bracket is, is, is closer to the apron. I have a whole video that shows one year only 67 parts, so you can go check that out. But when you needed a rear apron for, say, an older beetle, uh, say even 64 and down, uh, and you needed to buy a replacement, you would get this style apron. They're going to give you this aftermarket uh, style from 65 and 66, and there was then modification that needed to be done in order for it to work. So from 61 to 64, you had this style apron. The catch is already welded on to the apron. You know, they got rid of the H, uh, so you, you would have to buy that 65, 66 replacement uh, apron, but you then needed this to, in order for the deck lid to catch. The problem is uh, many guys couldn't find this piece, so they would rig up their own uh, uh, catch in, in, in a way, and it looked kind of unsightly. It didn't look good, especially if you're going to shows. If you're doing a daily driver and you really don't care, that's 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 fine. Uh, but we're looking for correctness here, so you would have to come up with this piece, or again, you buy the new aftermarket apron, you keep this section if it's good on your car, and then you replace this bottom with the new section. So that's what we used to do, but now there's guys online selling this piece so that you can use on that 65-66 aftermarket apron. And here's the aftermarket 65-66 apron, what it would look like when you get it. Uh, so you would get it without the bracket, of course, and you're going to have these two holes. So like I showed you on that earlier beetle, you would have to weld this catch on here, which now they do, uh, guys are making those pieces pretty damn close and uh, you can weld that onto your apron before you have to go send it out to paint. On the 60 and earlier beetles you had this style apron with the H pattern in the rear. Now again in the past we were at the mercy of aftermarket and if we had to buy that 65 66 style apron you either had to save this top piece and cut the uh, the new piece off of the new apron and use your old H pattern if it was in still in good shape and then weld the bottom to it. Or if you just didn't care, you got that new apron, you had to then find this catch, weld that on, you would not have the H. But now thankfully they are making and pressing uh, the H style rear aprons for the 60 and earlier Beetles. Uh, you can get it from uh, CIP1.com or WolfsburgWest.com. Um, and again, I think they were also getting it uh, from the guys across the pond, uh, which is uh, pretty damn cool. The material is awesome. And you can get it either with the uh, pea shooter cutouts, tailpipe cutouts, or have it straight. Remember, the apron was straight like this uh, up until 56. Once 56 came around, they had the cutouts for the two tailpipes that came out. Uh, so, But they sell both options, which is really, really awesome. I mean, for a long time, we did not have those aprons uh, accessible or to get. And uh, we're at the mercy of really doing modification to make the apron look correct. Uh, so very, very cool features. It's very cool that it's on that mark on the market now. But again, if you're on a tight budget, um, you know, again, this this apron is going to run you anywhere from three, three fifty, maybe four hundred bucks. Uh, so even after shipping or so. So uh, you gotta gotta look at your budget and see if it's in in the cards for you. So, but. Uh, that's, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me, chris at classicbwbugs.com, or go to my website, www.classicbwbugs.com. We'll most likely be having uh, updated videos or pictures on my site when we change the apron, aprons on my uh, 54 oval rags. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.